everyone. Hello everyone, if you are new to my channel, when welcome, my name is Ingrida, don't be shy, stay around and press the button to subscribe. <laughs> and if you are returning viewer subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back and checking out my videos. So this video is um, this eye makeup look tutorial that I created and basically I wanted to do kind of like a sunset inspired makeup look. I don't know if it's called Halo Dome Shaped. Don't know what's the right name. I'll definitely check it out before I'll post this video and put that name tag on the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna stop talking and let's just jump into the actual tutorial. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids using this e.l.f. primer in sheer. I don't know if you can see, but the end of January, I got the eyelash extensions and I still got six left. I mean, I got four in this eye and two on this eye, which looks funny, but I don't wanna plug my eyelashes out. So we can sit there. They're gonna fall off eventually, but I mean, they're holding really good for so long, right? Okay, doc, so today's eyeshadow look is like a sunset dome shape dome halo don't know how you call it but basically we're gonna go darker colors in here and then like shimmery in the middle super easy super fast so for this makeup look i'm gonna use my current favorite eyeshadow palette which is modern renaissance by anastasia beverly hills it's so dirty i mean i use it so much so i'm gonna go as my transition color with a color <laughs> called golden ochre or her this color in here so basically i'm gonna take that color and go through here like on the top as transition color and add more on the outer corner and on the inner corner for the next color once again we're gonna do the same step so outer corner inner corner and what's left on a brush dragging through the top like higher than the crease would be like where my eyes creases so i'm going higher like millimeter two millimeters i don't know if that makes sense so the next color i'm gonna go in is a raw sienna and just this one in here so let's go for a bit warmer color and do exactly the same step so out the corner in the corner and what's left on the brush blend through the middle so this time i'm gonna go with a color called regal real car the color that i can't pronounce so this one in the corner in here so i want color to be a bit more intense so i'm taking more and do exactly the same steps out the corner in the corner and drag like a blend color through. So cleaning off a brush, just to a palm of my hand and going back with the same brush and blending it through. I'm not worrying much about the sides or the top where my brows would be because I still don't have any foundation on. So when I'll, when I'll be putting foundation on, I'm just gonna use a smaller um, sponge and fix the sides if that makes any sense so i'm not worried about any fallouts or like sides <laughs> so next color i'm gonna jump in is a red ocha ohar um what is that this one in here and do exactly the same steps in a corner out the corner and blend a tiny bit for the top And I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the cypress umber, so it's the color here in the corner of this one. So this time, just a tiny, tiny bit on the inner corner, outer corner, and a slight little bit from the top. Very teeny, teeny, tiny. I know so far it looks a bit funny and like a raccoon eyes, but I promise the end result will look amazing. Trust me.
Okay, the next thing is completely optional. So you could go in already with a lighter color in the middle or to brighten it a little bit more, use a concealer. So I'm gonna use a concealer because I want it to look a little bit brighter than that. I'm just taking a tiny brush, like a flat brush, and just gonna add a bit of concealer in the middle just to brighten that place a little bit more. And make sure to do that slightly bit higher than your hood would be, so you could actually see when your eyes are wide open. I feel like I want a little bit more orangey color, so I'm adding a little bit of burnt orange in here. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do, because I used now a concealer and I don't want it to crease to, so, so, to set it, I'm gonna use this color tempera. So as you can see, I'm just pressing it using my finger. So once again, the same brush that we used before and blending it together. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, I'm using, gonna be using my finger again. I'm gonna go with a color called Vermeer. Yeah, this one in here. And once again, the finger because the color is more intense then. So the next thing I want to do, because I wanted the color to pop even more and I'm going for kind of sunset theme. <laughs> So I'm going with this a Glow Kit Matte Glow by Anastasia and I'm going to use Sunburst in the middle. That's really popping now. What? I guess that's what I wanted. And the same brush and a little bit to blend it. So let's go in and apply some for a low lash line. So for a low lash line I'm going to go with a Regal, this one in the corner. Again, outer corner, inner corner. And in the middle, I'm gonna go in with the Sunburst by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Small dance brush. The next thing I'm gonna do before going in with false lashes, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Master Ink Eyeliner. I'm just gonna go with a thin line close to my lash line because I'm gonna apply false lashes. And for the false lashes, I'm gonna go in with the individual ones. I'm gonna go with this Eyelore Couture Fleur. Fleur, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, so basically it's sets of two and three. I mean, I've been using it so it all fell in together and looks like a spider legs, but it's not. It's amazing. So I'm gonna go and apply these on. And the eyelashes are on, so while the glue is drying because after it's gonna dry I'll go in with the eyeliner again and fill in the gaps in on the glue because the glue is clear so when it dries it gets a little bit white kind of so while I'm waiting for that I'm gonna apply the mascara and for mascara I forgot to mention I'm using at the moment a MAC upward lash upward black because of its tiny brush as it catches my short lashes so perfectly. So what I do next, I'm just going in with the same eyeliner that I used before and I'm like um, coloring the glue because I don't know how you guys, but every time I use a false lashes, like individual ones, I get like a little glue dots. So what I do always, I go in with the eyeliner and color it in, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll jump in and apply my foundation, do my eyebrows, and we will be done. Easy as that. So I'm just editing this video and I noticed that I forgot to film after I applied my foundation on. So for my lipstick I used a MAC Retro Made Liquid Lip Color Skinny Dipping and then I added a little bit of highlighter in the middle of my lip to make it look plumpier. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this video. I really hope you liked it and it was helpful. If you will try to recreate this look, please tag me in your post so I can see it as well as I would be really interested. And I personally really like this makeup look. I mean, I went improvising. I didn't do like a trial run and tried it before I did that with you guys. 
and it turned out to be like really nice. I mean, I really like it personally. And if you like it as well, don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as this would mean a lot to me. And I can't wait to share more videos with you guys and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and bye. Ciao for now.